welcome to the Triumph Triple Challenge, a one-make race series that supports the British Superbike Championship here in the UK. We're at round one of nine at Easter Bank Holiday weekend at Brands Hatch, and we're going to be bringing you all the behind-the-scenes actions and stories from the world of racing. But first up, we need to find out a little bit more about what the Triple Challenge is all about. So when it comes to the Triumph Triple Challenge, there's only really one man to ask in the paddock about how it all came about, and that is Tony Scott from T3 Racing. Now, Tony, you've been involved from, with the TTC from its inception. How did it come about, really? Oh, well, I've been involved with Triumph for many years prior to that, uh, running racing schools with uh, Pierre Francesco Keeley, Mick Doohan, Randy Mamola, such like we were teaching racing. Uh, and when I decided uh, I'd had enough of that and I, I wondered what I was going to do next, I sat down in the boardroom at Triumph and uh, a chap called Bruno Tagliferri uh, suggested a one-make series on what was then uh, a new bike to be launched. Uh, I think back 2006 it was, something like that. And that's when it all began and it was just a case really uh, of, of looking at what had been done before what the problems were with that and then just trying to come up with something new and fresh and something where people could look at it and go well, hang on a minute I, I could actually race at British Championships now and I can be on a fair and even playing field and on a fixed budget so that's really where it all began. I, you know there's the same problem for for all youngsters that I see I see it a thousand times and it's they come into something like this you know, you need a fair budget to be competitive, etc. Tires, you know, there's a lot of those used and they're not cheap things to buy. And people run out of money. They don't run out of talent. And so what we decided to do with this was to produce a, a stepping stone, really, where they could come in, they could use the TTC as a, a proving ground for themselves. OK, Tony, that's all you being hands-on and giving support to the riders. I think there's a few guys there who are wanting your attention right now. I know you're going to be working right up until actual race time to get these bikes ready and get these boys out there. So I'll let you get on with it, my friend. We'll be chatting to you throughout the series. And enjoy your race weekend one. Thank you very much. <laughs> So I'm joined by Guy Masters, General Manager of Triumph UK and the perfect person to speak to about the Triumph Triple Challenge. Now Guy, a couple of years ago Triumph decided to make the Triple Challenge their main racing activity in the UK. How did that come about and why are you involved with this series? Well we were spending a lot of money going racing, supporting a variety of teams and Tony Scott was running this one make series and when we reviewed our race activity we felt actually TTC had to be our principal activity. That's where our prime focus was, because that would give us the maximum exposure for the product. And obviously, you know, you make the 675R, it's a super sport product. It fits beautifully into this category. Uh, I take it there's a lot of incentive there as well to get good young riders coming through onto your bikes and showcase yeah. them. And at the same time, we launched the Young Guns programme, which was to identify young talent coming through, because we wanted to be seen as a brand that supported young talent. Uh, so the Young Guns, the prize, gets a guaranteed ride in, uh, in the Triple Challenge and then they can demonstrate to the broader BSB fraternity their capabilities and skills and hopefully uh, become a race winner in higher categories in the future. And you don't just let these kids out, you know, get the bikes and then you don't give them support. You guys are really there to mentor them through the season. You provide workshops, classes, to kind of educate them on every aspect of bike racing, don't you? Yeah, so the Young Guns get a series of seminars and training, both on track and in the classroom, to look at every aspect of becoming a successful race rider. Uh, even on the TTC, the Tony Scott's um, support actually enables them to learn and develop the bikes as they go forward. So it isn't just purely turn up, pay your money and take a bike away. We support them through the whole process. And Triumph obviously very interested in bringing through the next development of British riders. I mean, you know, looking at the fact that if you win the TTC, you get a factory ride, you know, in super sport, which is, which is incredible. Yeah, what we wanted was a, a clear progression from young guns into TTC and then beyond TTC. So that's why we wanted to guarantee a ride in super sport or super stock. And that, that, that progression over a period of two or three years was exactly what we wanted to achieve. And hopefully once they've demonstrated in super sport, super stock, they could step up to, the, to full BSB. So we're here in the Triumph Village Tent Arena type place with number 55, Chrissy Rouse. Mate, uh, obviously getting ready for your first race of the Triumph Triple Challenge. And it's slightly different for you really this year because you won the Young Guns through the Triumph Organised Scheme last year to compete in this challenge, didn't you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, last year I competed in the British 105s and uh, June Mitchell was competing in the Triumph Young Guns. 
and uh, yeah, I managed to win that. So yeah, all uh, all set for this year. Now, obviously, the Triumph Young Scheme is designed to mentor young riders like yourselves and prepare them for you know the bigger race series as you go up and you get older and you kind of get obviously better, which you are doing. Um, how do you think it helped you having that scheme behind you and being a part of that competition and now obviously being involved in the Triumph Triple Challenge, which had mentoring in as well? Well, yeah, they got. Uh, during the Triumph Young Guns, you go through all the all the like parts of racing that you need, from fitness to uh, to on track with Frankie Keeley, and it, and racing racing's not just on track. Uh, there's a lot of um, like psychology and all that type of stuff, and uh, yeah, I just went through the whole thing, and um, yeah, just it, it highlights weaknesses, and, and uh, yeah, I just think it was it was very uh, very good for us. Cool. It gives you kind of good background preparation in all aspects of racing, doesn't it? And I mean, obviously, qualifying yesterday, you managed to come eighth, which, you know, as you say, seven up from one, two, five, so that's pretty impressive. What are your hopes for what's looking like it's going to be a wet race now? Yeah, it is looking a bit wet now. Um, I'm, I'm quite good in the wet. I just need to stay on, and uh, I don't know, I'll be, I'll be delighted with the top six finish in my first race. So. Right, then, so we're here now in the uh, marquee, we're going to call it, of Dan Fuller, number 22. And Dan, uh, it's your first season in the Triumph Triple Challenge, isn't it? Yep, first season this year. Um, did British Superstock last year, Junior Superstock 600s. Um, had a bit of an up and down year. Uh, won the champion of Snetterton at Bemsey, which was uh, something nice to take home. Uh, but this year's the first year on the Triumph, and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have a good year. Now, obviously, very changeable conditions out there. I'm not yeah. sure it's going to be a wet or a dry race or intermediate, or who knows what's going to happen. I mean, what are your hopes, and, and how do you think you're going to do in the race itself, starting from 10? Uh, I've got no problems running in the wet. Um, I'd rather it was dry, but as long as it's wet or dry, I don't mind. I just don't want it in between conditions because it makes it difficult. But I'll get my race face on and we'll go for it. So hopefully it'll be all right. <laughs>race one it was Rob Guyver who was the man to beat he'd been quickest in qualifying and he led from pole building up a lead of over four seconds to win the race comfortably second place went to Tom Hayward grabbing his first ever podium he only narrowly beat South African TTC stalwart Phil Atkinson into third who himself had a bit of a ding dong with Tom Whedon only getting across the line ahead of Whedon by two hundredths of a second you uh, achieved one of your goals to get on the podium not quite the race win you were going uh, for but uh, yeah. I tell you what at one point you dropped down to kind of fifth in there and yeah. you really came back and looking really hot at the end uh, happy with the result um, yeah I mean podium is a podium uh, obviously you want to win but um, in those conditions you know rather just happy with a safe third and uh, move on from from here um, brands not normally my best track but uh, yeah, this is probably the best start to a season, any season I've had. So. Okay, with me is a very happy man. Third season in the Triumph Triple Challenge and your first podium in race one in 2012. Tommy Hayward, congratulations, mate. You came from sixth on the grid to lab third place. Pretty hard race. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the conditions were really tricky, but um, I think with my smooth riding style, it just sort of paid off. And, uh, you know, I think I had the pace of the win, but um, with, this, with the conditions, I thought, you know, second's good enough. It's a good start, some points on the board. And um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Man who was in his first Triumph Triple Challenge race, you had pole position, Rob. You've uh, you've won the first race, obviously slightly reduced, and the weather's not been great. But how does that feel? Yeah, I mean it's a dream start. I mean it's my birthday today. Oh so no way! Yeah, happy birthday, man. So it's a fantastic birthday present, and uh, it's been a bit bit worrying all day because we got a delay earlier in the day, and the rain's been off and on, and it weren't sure what tyres to run. But everyone sort of gambled the same tyres, and uh, it paid off. But it was a scary race towards the end when the tyres started going off. <laughs> Standing next to me now, I have number 81, James Elkin. And uh, James, I think I'm going to let you explain this actually, because there's a very interesting story about why you're here for the Triumph Triple Challenge, isn't there? Yeah, well, we've come all the way from South Africa specifically to do this championship because of the, the level playing fields, and it gives everyone a fair chance to sort of show what, what, what talent they have. And back at home, we had been all set up to race South African Superbikes again for this year, and we had the whole team all set up and a big sponsor lined up. And then last minute now in December, we had the whole team planned out and the sponsor pulled out. 
So we were left high and dry for the season and we thought maybe it's a sign to take our plunge now and we had a bit of a racing fund set up and so we cashed all that in and cashed some of my dad's pension fund in <laughs> and we're here to do it for the season. But it's a brilliant story, the fact you have come over here, you really did like cashing your dad's pension, he's standing just over there kind of thing <laughs> and uh, you know, it's, you've got your family, you've moved, you know, you have moved here, this is it for you for a season. And, well, I mean, you say yesterday was a bit of a disappointing day, but you finished seventh, man, and you looked pretty quick at points, you know what I mean? It was quite an encouraging thing to build on. Yeah, obviously, well, we missed that. I had no practice at all yesterday before qualifying, so we went straight into qualifying and ended up 12th, which is not really where I wanted to be. And, yeah, lucky from 12th, we came up to finish seventh in the race, and, yeah, this morning warm-up went pretty well, surprisingly, in the wet. And we'll see what the race brings. We start seventh on the grid again for race two, and we'll just give it all we got. It's one of the great things about the Triumph Triple Challenge is it is open to anyone. You need just over £13,000 to get your bike, your entry, your tyres and everything. And one man who, well, hadn't even really raced until, what, July last year? That's correct, July last year. Is Jake, he is number 18. And, uh, fella, tell us a little bit about how, for a start, you, you wanted to get into racing and how it's come about you being the Triumph Triple Challenge this year. I rode down the road to start with, and basically I just... I fell in love with riding on the road. I, I rode a 675 to start with and I thought this this is it. I just want to get faster and faster. I progressed, progressed. I went to uh, went to a race club last year, did uh, did four meets with them and I thought, right, where can I where can I get somewhere in life by doing this? This is awesome. That is proper kind of, you know, big cojones, my friend. You've literally, as you say, three or four days at race clubbing, couple of track yeah. days and stuff, and then suddenly you're here in the Triumph Triple Challenge. Obviously your first proper race meet yesterday, I take it then. Uh, I've done a few race meets, but yeah, first a proper national meet. Yeah, yeah. I've never, uh, never done a meet like this, and it was a bit of a bit of a worry. I had a bit of, uh, so I had to get over that threshold of the first day. Yeah, I uh, feel better now. So we've just been chatting to Chrissy Rouse, who came second in the Premier class yesterday, and uh, well, the gentleman with me now is his main rival, Will Leaning. Now, listen, first race in the Triumph Triple Challenge yesterday in the uh, Premier class. You only went and blooming won it and came eighth overall. Not a bad day then, really. Yeah, I couldn't gone any better if I'm honest. Um, I didn't expect, if I'm honest, to be up the well up front of the Premier Class straight away, but the conditions were tricky and it does help a bit, as in to get up there. I mean, if you're not used to a bike sliding, it was the worst conditions possible for you yesterday. But um, yeah, Christy did well. I mean, I was from such a big step up from 125 to a 600, Christy did exceptionally well. Like the bike, it's easy enough to ride and just getting on with it fairly well. So opposite the Triumph Village area is a rather more glamorous factory supported super sport team 777RR and uh, in this tent apart from all the lovely promo girls you see coming in and now and the champagne and the trophies we do have Luke Jones uh, racing in the Super Sport Cup this year for 777RR and winner of the Triumph Triple Challenge last year. Um, yeah, that's right. I mean, we had a fantastic year last year with the Triumph Challenge. I mean, we had some real good results and uh, the prize for winning that is where we are now. So, yeah, real happy. So not only do you get to have a bike in your own colours, but um, I, I love the way you've actually put your factory supported tent opposite all the Triumph Village riders. So it's showing them what they could win really this year, isn't it? They could come in here with the glamorous promo girls and have all the nice setup and bikes. Yeah, that's it. I mean, like most of the team that work with the Triumph Challenge are still helping with the bike as we speak. So um, yeah, it's still like as one, so it's, it's good. Now, obviously, huge step up from the Triumph Triple Challenge to the Super Sport Cup this year. There are a lot of quick boys. You're obviously racing with the Super Sport lads as well. But you didn't exactly have a bad day yesterday, did you? Um, no, we had, a, well, we had a real good race yesterday. Um, had a decent start, and first lap I was 10th. And as the laps were going on, I was moving forward, and I eventually got to the lead. And um, I led it for a little bit, and then unfortunately I hit some oil and crashed. And about five seconds later, the red flag came out and stopped the race. But um, because I'd already crashed a couple of seconds earlier, I'm not allowed in the results. So I mean. You know, a bit gutted I didn't get the win, but we know the pace is there and I say the team's been going good and I'm happy and yeah, so just can't wait for the race later on.
unfortunately, the weather had deteriorated even more by race two. In fact, three riders went down at the very first corner at Paddock Hill Bend. Phil Atkinson, Christian Elkin and Pierce Hutchins all taken out. But that left the door open for a number of other riders to stake their claim. Tom Haywood got out in first position and started to build a lead for himself while the battle for the podium was hotting up between Ben Taylor, Tom Ward and Chrissy Rouse. Ben Taylor went down though as conditions got worse and unfortunately for him he didn't realise he was leaking oil when he returned to the track. This made conditions worse for the riders and after a huge moment for Chrissy Rouse who at the time was running in second place, they decided that a red flag had to come out. Well, listen, it's got to be one of the stories of the day. Earlier we were sitting there in your garage. You thought your season was over, your engine had blown, Tom. Uh, Tony Scott from T3 managed to sort you out with a new engine. Your mechanics worked furiously to get it ready time. It literally got started up half hour before the race for the first time, and you've only got to finish third. Yeah, it's quite a good start, really. I didn't, I didn't honestly didn't think we were going to be able to go out, because it was uh, thanks to a Triumph for going down and getting that engine, because we were, we were going, honestly, we were going to pack up and go home, but try, um, Tony sorted us out with that, so took a couple of hours to get in. I wasn't sure whether we were going to get out on time, but luckily we did. Um, I got quite a good start from the fourth row. It was on 15th. But, um, yeah, it was a really good start. Um, I went up the inside and uh, I saw the crash go down and I thought everyone's going to be quite tentative around here. So I sort of opened up, got a couple of cheeky little places in there and then um, held quite a tight, a tight line around Paddock Hill. Powered it up to um, Druids and I think I was in about fifth place by then. So. Just slowly, just, I didn't want to push too hard because I had a big, a big, real big moment coming out of Graham Hill. Lost the back, nearly high side of it, managed to stay on like a, like a rodeo. But um, yeah, it was good, it paid off in the end. So race two has just finished, it was a dramatic race, getting red flagged halfway through the fifth lap. Uh, a lot of riders going down, but one man who didn't and uh, who was aiming for a top ten finish, but well, you did one better, didn't you, that, Chrissy? I say one better, quite a few better, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a great, uh, great start. Um, right around the outside and uh, yeah just got into a nice little rhythm and uh, managed to bring the bike back uh, on the last lap uh, had a huge moment and I'm just really really pleased that I stayed on it was a big moment we got to see that on telly and I'll tell you what I thought it was going to go you finished second overall first in the Premier class beating a lot of the elite guys out there I mean this is only your second race in this class second race on this bike how are you feeling about now, mate? Well, I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, all last year on the 125, I never, I never got a podium. So uh, yeah, it's the first time I've been up on the podium of BSB, and um, to and to beat uh, to beat the likes of Rob and people like that, I'm just uh, I'm absolutely delighted. It's a race of two winner. They're going one or better than yesterday, Tom. We were literally chatting this time yesterday when you come second. It was your first podium, and now you've nicked your first win. How does that feel, bro? Oh, it's amazing. I, I'm on it now. I see it. No stopping me. I'm going for it. <laughs> you've broken the mould now, my friend. You're going to expect it to get a podium every week. I mean, obviously, conditions not great today. Talk us through that race a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the conditions are pretty poor, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, going into that race, I just wanted to bring it home, um, maybe get a few points. Um, just thought I'd see how it goes, really. And, uh, Got a great start, whole shot at it, first in the first corner, and then that was it. I didn't see anyone else, so um, I was, you know, I see the gap going up and up and up. And I thought, well, you know, this is mine, so I just went for it. What an incredibly eventful round one of the Triumph Triple Challenge here at a very wet Brands Hatch. Race one saw Rob Guyver take his first win on his birthday. Tom Hayward, his first ever podium, and the South African Phil Atkinson put in a very solid ride to finish third. And then all the controversy of race two. Red flags after five laps, loads of riders going down. But you know what? You got to see Tom Hayward do one better and pick up his first ever win after three years in the Triumph Triple Challenge, which is a great result. Chrissy Rouse, young guns winner from last year. He is in the Premier class, not the elite. He managed to nick second place and then Tom Wood. What a story. His engine was in bits hours ago. He thought his season was over, but he's nicked his first ever podium coming in third. The racing has been incredible. The weather has been rubbish. But all I can say is bring on round two at Fruxton next week.